First thing I need is a holder for the coil, and it's uh, simple. Just using one of my uh, little throwaway pieces of uh, wood. And you can see the uh, former already had the uh, hole in it. I'm sure where that was on their winder, little wood screw. Let me get the uh, soldering iron turned on. Go ahead and clean up the uh, solder locations and we'll see what we can uncover. Applying a little solder where I believe the uh, Litz wire comes up and makes uh, contact with the uh, terminals. Let's recheck our uh, continuity, see if it made any difference whatsoever. Okay, you can see it's still open. Let me do a closer visual inspection, just to make sure I see the uh, leads from the coil coming back up to the uh, terminal locations. I'll do that off camera and let you guys know what I see. You guys can see I got the insulators off and I've looked at my uh, lead dress coming back up to the uh, terminals and applied a little more solder at these locations here and here and uh, no change. So the uh, coil is uh, definitely open. Let me see if I can determine which coil is the uh, primary, which one's the uh, secondary. Hey guys, it looks like I was correct on the uh, coil that's open. It's on the uh, top of the can. And I actually broke this lead intentionally after uh, tracing out the uh, wire it looks like where the Litz wire is uh, soldered back to uh, some plain magnet wire or some different Litz wire I'm going to unwind a couple turns right here and uh, just check and see if we uh, gain anything at all or if we're still open this is the most outer winding of course the one i can access it's kind of funny you never know what you're going to find if you look at the uh, litz wire which went back to the uh, terminal lug and i just cut the uh, wire at this location thinking it may be like a 44 to 48 litz wire it's just a, a single conductor best i can tell so um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some more off the outside wrap and uh, check the DC resistance per foot and uh, see if I can determine or estimate the uh, wire gauge that was used. So um, just the uh, last few inches of wire was Litz wire back to the uh, terminal lug. The rest of the coil, as far as I can tell, was wound just in uh, plain old magnet wire, a real high AWG. To get uh, somewhere around 18.9 millihenries based on the other coil that's uh, not open and about 136 ohms, I believe, of DC resistance and you can see we're still open as you guys can see i'm still unwinding the uh, coil by hand i have not uncovered a break at this point in time so uh, i'll come back and provide an update here in just a bit looks like it's going to be near the uh, core okay guys i finally uh, got down to the break and it was right here at the uh, core. You may be able to see that at the tip of my finger.
also definitely uh, not repairable. I'll uh, rewind a, a new coil or attempt to do so. As you can see on the uh, piece of wood, I put my winding direction as well for future reference. The other thing I want to do is just confirm the capacitance of the uh, capacitor that allows you to tune the uh, IF transformer and peak it to uh, 181.5 kilohertz. As found, you can see it's just north of uh, 40 picofarads. So that's going to be correct if you plug that into an LC calculator for a coil that uh, measures 18.9 or 19 millihenries. That's based on the other coil that's uh, not open, that being the primary. We'll assume both are the same. That would resonate uh, very close to that 181.5 kilohertz. And here's a look at the capacitor that I was speaking of. You can see the mica sheets in between. There's another one on the other side. Looks like one here. And if uh, you folks watched the previous video, or maybe it was the one before, of course the schematic shows four. There's uh, another one. There it is. It's covered up by this hole plug. So that's the four adjustments for the uh, IF. Since the transformer is such a simple design, I think I'll just go ahead and build a, a new transformer. Take measurements of the dowels that are in place and uh, go ahead and wind two new coils so we don't have to uh, be concerned about the uh, primary, which is usually uh, your bad guy with your uh, DC current flowing through it. Then I'll probably just rob this top piece, use it. So uh, stay tuned. Let me uh, ponder on that for a day or so, and then I'll uh, bring you guys back for an update. I repaired radios, worked at it for 30 years. Started back in the days of the old Crosleys, Atwater Kents, Farnsworths. Those were real radios, well-built, well-designed, nothing cheap about any of them. They didn't have transistors in those days, just tubes as big as light bulbs. That meant heavy chassis, heavy transformers. And we didn't fix them by simply slapping in a new part either. We fixed the old parts. I wish I had a dime for every RF coil I rewound by hand, every IF I rebuilt. Yeah, those were great radios in those days.